discussing the monsoonal winds of the arabian sea and the monsoonal winds of the bay of bengal so i'm i'm given give, give a heading monsoonal monsoonal wind of the arabian sea and the monsoonal winds of the bay of bengal theek hai we have already seen that the monsoonal winds they get divided into two branches theek hai that is the bay of bengal branch and the arabian sea branch theek hai so please draw this so the monsoonal winds they get bifurcated into two branches one is the bay of bengal branch and one is the arabian sea branch theek hai now the first i'm talking about the arabian sea branch the arabian sea branch this arabian sea branch this arabian sea branch it gets bifurcated it gets bifurcated into three branches into three branches theek hai so the arabian sea branches that gets bifurcated into the three branch one branch the first branch is obstructed by the the a branch is obstructed by the western ghat it is obstructed by the western ghat so one this branch this branch gets obstructed by the western ghat okay so this is your western ghat it will obstruct the wind so if this is your western ghat theek hai let me draw like this what will western ghat do if this is the western ghat one branch is getting obstructed by the western ghat this is what side this is the windward side this is the leeward side so one that gets obstructed by the western ghat will give lot many rainfall on the western side it will give western side of the western ghat it will receive rainfall as high as 300 to 400 cm while the eastern side the eastern side will receive rainfall at around yes it will receive rainfall at around 100 to 100 to 150 Centimeter. So the first branch is obstructed by the western ghat. Okay. Then the second, the second branch. This was the first branch. The second branch is. So this is your B N S T. So the second branch. Okay. This is the B. The second branch enters the Indian Peninsula. it enters the indian peninsula between the rift valleys through the rift valleys of through the rift valleys of the narmada and tapi through the rift valleys of narmada and tapi they enter into the indian peninsula and they and they reach as far as and they reach they reach as far as the chhota nagpur plateau they reach as far as the chhota nagpur plateau they reach as far as the chhota nagpur plateau theek hai the third branch the third branch so if i draw a map here there is one branch which is entering which is obstructed by the western ghat theek hai there is other branch which enters the subcontinent by the rift valleys the third branch it is striking the kutch it is striking the kutch theek hai and it enters and it blows parallel to what it blows parallel to the aravalli therefore aravalli does not have the west of aravalli does not have rainfall 
do you understand this now see look at the direction of the third branch the third branch the third branch is blowing parallel to aravallis therefore it will not bring rainfall in aravallis so the third branch is it enters the india it enters india via kutch peninsula via the kutch peninsula it enters the india via kutch peninsula blows parallel to aravalli blows parallel to aravalli and therefore the west side of aravalli does not bring does not have rainfall the and the west side therefore does not have rainfall no rain fall theek hai now i am discussing the second branch that is the bay of bengal branch the bay of bengal branch theek hai so this is your this is your bay of bengal branch theek hai so i'll just draw the map here here this is your gujarat the peninsula this is the the bangladesh ठीक है, the Myanmar region. So this Bay of Bengal, the Bay of Bengal branch, it gets deflected by the, it gets deflected by the Myanmar highlands. Myanmar highlands, the Myanmar highlands, they actually deflect a portion. They deflect a portion of the Bay of Bengal branch. So and then the Bay of Bengal branch enters, enters. the bangladesh sorry enters the bengal okay from the south east direction it is entering the bangla uh, uh, bengal from the south east direction that is one branch theek hai the other branch enters is the other branch that enters in india is from the north eastern the north eastern this is your meghalayan plateau and they are they enter the from the north eastern side so there are two there are two things one is the the bay of bengal branch it is deflected by the myanmar highlands it turns south east and it enters in the india in the indian plain in the gangetic plain it enters the gangetic plain from the south eastern direction because it has been deflected by myanmar highlands and one portion goes to the north east the one portion it goes to the north east theek okay, hai so you can write this a first point the bay of bengal branch is deflected is deflected by the myanmar by the myanmar highlands it gets deflected by the myanmar highlands and enters west bengal from the south and the south eastern direction and enters the bengal from the south and the south east direction from the south and the south east direction okay they enter bengal from the south and the south east direction the branch the branch enters the gangetic plain it enters the gangetic plain and reach as far as as far as himalayas this is one one branch the other branch the the second branch the second branch basically moves up the brahmaputra valley it moves up the brahmaputra valley brahmaputra valley and bring and brings rainfall and brings and brings it brings rainfall to the meghalayan plateau to the meghalayan plateau ठीक है, so there are two branches. One is the 
the gangetic branch and the other is the meghalayan branch theek hai now i have one question for you theek hai which part will have more rainfall whether whether if this is your x part and this is your y part in the gangetic plain in the gangetic plain whether x part will have more rainfall or y part will have more rainfall right so the eastern part of the gangetic indo gangetic plain is wetter whereas the western part of the gangetic plain is drier clear theek hai now i want to explain you one important thing you know this you know this meghalayan plateau the meghalayan plateau they are one of the so this has one of the highest rainfall in the world one of the highest rainfall in the world highest rainfall in the world what is the reason the reason is firstly first reason is yes mohan syndrome it the first reason is it directly receives it, it directly receives rainfall from the bay of bengal branch and the other important reason is the funneling effect there is this funneling effect what happens here is we know meghalayan topography the meghalayan topography the meghalayan highlands the meghalayan plateau is not big it is not big and it is divided into this garo khasi and jayantia right the garo khasi and jayantia okay now what hap what is happening is what is happening is if you look at the topography if you look at the topography garo khasi jayantia they will receive yes they will receive winds they are receiving the monsoonal winds and the monsoonal winds are funneling between these regions they are funneling between this region they are trapped here they are trapped between the gaps and they funnel and because they funnel they bring lot rainfall so what is funneling effect funneling effect is basically the monsoonal wind the monsoonal winds they are trapped they are trapped between the gap of the gap of between the gaps of garo khasi and jayantia and the wind funnel wind funnels in between the gap and then and therefore brings rainfall and therefore brings huge rainfall theek hai this is the funneling effect of the winds theek hai another important point that i want to bring forward is if we have seen if we have seen the branches the branches of the uh, monsoon the branches of the monsoon one is the one branch is obstructed by the western ghat the other branch it reaches the peninsula it reaches the peninsula as far as the chota nagpur plateau and the other reaches the peninsula and it brings it brings no rainfall to the western part of aravalli this is one the second branch that we talked about was the was the the bay of bengal branch it gets deflected enters the india and it also enters the northeastern region can you see this portion can you see this portion of tamil nadu this portion of tamil nadu is not getting rainfall in monsoonal season so this koromandal coast koromandal coast it does not receive it does not receive huge rainfall huge rainfall in summers in summer or in the monsoonal season in the monsoonal season why because there are two reasons one is the one reason is the first reason is it lies in the rain shadow rain shadow area of rain shadow area of the 
Arabian Sea branch and rain shadow area of the Arabian Sea branch and it is parallel to the Bay of Bengal branch. It is parallel to the Bay of Bengal branch. Okay. So for the Coromandel coast, they do not receive much rainfall.